I would tell you, look, ultimately, if I could train you like from A to Z, I would say, look, we're going to do technique and we're going to do physical conditioning. And the physical conditioning is only going to be 50 to 70% effort at the, at the beginning. But we're going to train daily. In my opinion, the world's best beginner program ever. Okay. There's six beginner classes a week. Guys, fundamentals is everything. When you go to a basic class, you learn, you do it six days a week. The classes are full because they're super popular. We have the best beginners program. The best. Okay, you're separated from everybody else. You're in a separate cage. We actually put you guys in a different cage, a huge cage. You have a thousand square feet. And you learn volume one, two, and three from Juji Club's Advanced Basics. That's the, all you learn. We, we learn only that. You learn it six days a week. We recommend you buy the videos. That way you have the list of all the moves. When you're ready, you go to the intermediate mat. You have to learn three videos. That's it. That's all you need. But those three videos, in my opinion, take about six months to learn. It's a lot. It's a lot of drilling. It's a lot of repeating. You don't need to roll. You don't need, you can, Some guys like to roll, but you don't have to. A lot of guys do technique, then do weights. I think that's the best way to learn. Do the technique, do weights, do the technique. Don't roll, roll right away. I always tell guys, finish your workout with weights. Go do abs. Go do chin-ups, pull-ups. Hit the bag, but don't don't grapple right away. Wait till you at least know 30 moves. Once you know 30 moves, grappling makes sense. But if you know like two, three moves and you go and you roll, it doesn't make any sense. You're just squeezing heads. You're just scratching each other. You're just you're beating each other. You're just, you're just going you're gonna injure yourself. It, it doesn't make any sense. At least you have to know 30 moves. And 30 moves is too low. I think it's too low. I'm just trying to be, because I know people are going to think I'm crazy, but I think you should know 50 moves. You should have drilled 50, 50 moves. And... You should feel comfortable, you know how to roll, and you understand the idea, the concept, and you should absolutely learn that. Volume one is, is guard, volume two is basic passing, and volume three is ashigrami. And once you get to ashigrami, guys, if you know the ashigrami, you can roll. Um, I think it's probably, well, that's well over 50 moves, those three videos, so then you'll be you're cooking ready to roll. The beginner training is such a crucial part of time, in my opinion, proper sparring, rolling seems... So silly at that stage. That's from Joseph. Yeah, it's just a recipe for disaster. I would tell you, look, ultimately, if I could train you like from A to Z, I would say, look, we're going to do technique and we're going to do physical conditioning. And the physical conditioning is only going to be 50 to 70% effort at the, at the beginning. But we're going to train daily. And we're going to enjoy training. We're not going to put the pain on you. I'm not going to break your back. I'm not going to, you're not going to wake up the next day feeling like you got hit by a bus. No, we're going to train every day, six days a week. We're not going to dip in testosterone. We're going to rise in testosterone. We're going to do short workouts. We're going to take a minimum effective dose of training. And then we're going to do it daily. And when you calculate all the days, you did a lot more training than the guy who broke his back on Monday, came back Friday because he had to recover, then did a hard workout on Saturday, and then was licking his wounds for 48 hours. That guy is going hot, cold, hot, cold, seesaw back and forth. And he's most likely to injure himself and be out for months. Probably quit because he's like, why am I doing this to myself? He's going to be going to practice. He's going to be like, oh, man, the pain, the suffering. I could just be at home right now on the couch hanging out with my wife. Why, why am I doing this? You don't want to punish yourself daily. You want to go and practice and have fun. Guys, the secret to getting good at something is training in a way that's enjoyable. I Look, I, I rolled today. What did I do today? In the morning, I, I, gave, I gave practice. I did a little running because I wasn't feeling well in the morning. I was a little bit tight. My body, I did a little running. I did a little shuttle running. I love shuttle running, guys. I love it. I did about eight minutes of shuttle running. That was a perfect workout. Not super intense. I was just warming up the body. Why? Because I wasn't feeling good. I've been traveling. I've been traveling three weeks, three or four. Out of the last four weeks, I traveled three of them. Different time zones, getting on the plane, waking up early. My body's taxed. Okay, I got to work out. I had a neck injury. My right arm is still very weak. Guys, the body needed a break. Okay, I just did shuttle run. And then I went and I rolled four rounds today. Four rounds of six minutes. What is that? A total of 24 minutes. I had a blast rolling. I had so much fun. But I felt right and I rolled. Did I kill myself? No, I'm going to train tomorrow. Probably once or twice. Very likely twice. One, uh, MMA, one martial art and one probably conditioning. I'm going to do probably a second workout conditioning. Maybe I'm going to roll twice. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. However, I'm punching in the clock. Now, I've been traveling for three weeks. I'm, I'm re-ramping up. I'm, on, my, on my trips, I wasn't able to work out. Okay, I did very little training on my trips. It was just such a busy uh, three weeks. Crazy. Just a crazy amount of guys fighting. And I'm taking care of them, putting their priority, their fight first. And now I'm uh, getting back to a regular schedule. Of course, 
you know, guys are fighting, but they're more far and few between. I don't have time to I ramp it up. You go slow, guys. Go slow and steady. Who tells you all the time slow and steady? I'm going to remind you until you guys punch in the clock, break a sweat every day, but don't kill yourselves. We're working out tomorrow, even if it's a 20-minute workout. Even if it's just shadow boxing. Some days you're just going to shadow box, guys. I find the one thing uh, martial artists don't do enough of is shadow boxing. It's a low impact, great way to warm up the body, great way to work on your technique. It doesn't cost anything in terms of recovery. Like you can shadow box for two hours. The next day you're fine. You know, it's, it's just really gentle on the body and super, super good for burning calories, getting in shape and, and developing technique. 